welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, here to do this show for you. A couple quick announcements. I'm going to make them as fast as I possibly can. I'm sorry to those of you who watch on a regular and already know this, but there are new people. So just a gentle reminder. And for the new people, here's how the show works. First and foremost, this show does air on TV, actual TV, WSCS, um, and all of their streaming channels and on their um, online thing. Uh, Rude Rangers TV streams this channel on all of their channels, on their podcasts, and on their radio station. I also send it out to certain podcasts and it airs on YouTube and like just a plethora of places. So when you're asking questions, please keep that in mind. We, everybody appreciates that. Also, because of that and because of my setup, um, please, if I call your area code, take your phone off of speaker, Bluetooth, car, whatever it is, put your phone to your face, folks. I normally don't recommend that for all the reasons I would not recommend that. However, for the little bit of time you're talking to me, put your phone to your face so that we have the clearest possible, most audible connection possible. Can I say possible like five more times? Second, or whatever number I'm on at this point. <laughs> Uh, when I say your area code, let me know where you're calling from and what's your name, who you be, who you with. <laughs> oh, it's one of those shows. We about to have some fun, folks. Um, also, um, sorry. Um, when I say your name, please, uh, or when I say your area code, please let me know what's your name and where you're calling from, and then have an exact question and or connection on the other side. If you want to connect to somebody on the other side, love doing that for folks. Don't ask me who's around you. People will come in that you don't even know. Great, 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 great grandmas, grandpas, second cousin, Willie, Second cousin Willie is here. Whoever that is, there's a second cousin Willie here. <laughs> okay, second cousin Willie, go sit down for a minute. Um, and <clears throat> Willie, that's a name, right? Um, so give me an exact name relationship to you. And if you have a question or a conversation, something you need to know from them, let me know. Uh, third, if I answer your question, do not give me a follow-up question, especially if it contradicts your first question. Don't do it. I'm just in the mood to hang up on people today. <laughs> I'm kind of kidding. <laughs> Listen, if you call in and you ask me a question and spirit takes the time to answer that question, do not switch it up. Do not switch it up and go, well, what I really mean is no, say what you mean in the beginning. Just be blatant, be forward, be honest. Okay, okay. I don't like being confused at all. Neither does spirit. Well, they're never confused. It's more me. I'm confused all the time. I don't like it. Okay. Um, Stevie is my youngest brother. Stevie, I hope you're having an amazing day. I love you, bro. Um, and he um, he's just he's just a, such a little sweet bean. I went on Facebook the other day and saw his Facebook page, and he has all these videos of him rapping. It's awesome. Anyway, I want to say hi to everybody who is joining me in the live chat. Now, this show does air live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central. If you want to join us, come on in. You can join on YouTube. You can join us in the chat. You can call in. The call in number is 845-277-9131. If you do have a question or a connection, please call in. It would be happy to answer your question or help you connect with loved ones. One last quick announcement. For quite some time, 
And for those of you who have private sessions with me, you and there are a couple people that have a private session with me and they ask about the state of affairs with the world. I don't always put everything on air, but um, a, a, a couple of my peeps, Lori, love you. They know um, some of the predictions that I've made. And one of the predictions that I've made is about California and New York. And we can see what's going on in California right now. And last night I saw this map on, um, and I've said, I've said on air, and I've been scolded for this, that California is going down. And in private, and I think maybe on air, I've said a little bit more about how, what, where, why. Okay, we see what's going on with California. This is the beginning. Um, and for those of you in California, I'm so sorry. I, our hearts go out to you. Our prayers go out to you. Um, if you are still in California, any part of California, if you can get out of California, get out of California. Get as far inland as you can or just get out because the structure in California is not built for what's coming. And this, they say there's three rounds or four rounds of storms coming. That's the first batch. There's more after that. And then there's going to be something that compromises the earth underneath. Um, and I've been saying, I, not me, they have been saying this for a hot minute. Okay. So, um, now what piggybacks that is this, they have also been telling you to make garden gardens, basement gardens, garage gardens. If you live where there's snow, just find a way to make a garden. What comes from California? <clears throat> All the water that's going around right now with California, make sure you have water. Make sure you start growing your own food, even if you have to grow your own food now. Even if you have to start it now, start growing something. OK, stock up on certain things that you're going to need, because a lot of the foods that we get, even in the Midwest or wherever, could, could be coming from these areas. And we're not aware of that. And I saw a video yesterday of a, of a Navy map. And I'm going to tell you something. Do you know how I know something's true? They take it down and they take it down quickly. So this map popped up in this video and the person was saying, hey, look what I just found. This is a, a map and it said on the top Navy. It, it doesn't mean it's true. I don't, I don't know, but it goes along with the prediction I made over two years ago that um, California may not survive some of what's coming in. But in this map, this Navy map, California was completely off the map. Now, I hope that's not true. I don't, there are a lot of predictions that I make that I don't want them to happen. I don't make these predictions with hope. They come flying out of my mouth and they're as shocking to me. And as a matter of fact, a lot of people aren't aware of this. I'm, when natural disasters are going on, I go under. Like when Things like this go on, what's going on in California, what's going on, it hits me, even if I don't know what's going on, like when 9-11 happened, that uh, catastrophe, that disaster, um, it doesn't matter how or why it happened. And yes, if you ever want to know, let's have a conversation. I like slept for two days over that because just the energy of whatever. So when these things come in, <clears throat> for people who are sensitive, it hits us different. And we don't want these things to happen. Because if you're sensitive and empathic and you feel other people's, when there's this much going on, it, you're just under, you're just, you're sleeping it off. You're trying to like sleep through it because it's just so like right now, there's so much grief in my heart over this. That doesn't make me better than anybody else. It doesn't make me, oh my God, she's so empathic. No, man up, right? <laughs> I need some testosterone. I need a doctor to give me a shot of testosterone so I can get through this and not like, but it does. Um, 
for some of us, and that doesn't make me more special or less special. It just makes me very sensitive to these types of things. And, um, and part of why I can see them coming so far out in the future. Now, in the future, New York is going to have some similar issues in New York. People in New York, some of them have already been leaving. Um, I recommend all the people from California and New York go to Utah for a lot of reasons, <laughs> which I can, I will not say on air, but Utah has a lot of land, a lot of land. Go to Utah, and it's very inexpensive from what I heard. Last time I checked, Utah very inexpensive. Okay. Anyway, um, for those of you who have not watched me before, I think I'm hella funny. It's okay if you don't. I do. Um, we're going to get started with callers. I'm going to answer a couple questions from the chat. The first question I'm going to ask, and Anne, I need to apologize. I think Anne asked this like three shows ago, and I didn't see it. And then I she she like messaged me. Yep. This is international messaging or white people dancing. I don't know. Whatever. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. And asked um, how her father passed. And, and the best answer I can give you, I hear, um, and I hope this makes sense to you, heart and head, heart and head, heart and head. Now, heart and head can mean a couple of different things. It can mean blood clots. It can mean a stroke. It can mean an embolism. Um, there was something heart and head combination that uh, caused his final demise, his final demise. Now, there were other extenuating circumstances going on. That's what kind of pulled I don't know why I'm hearing pulled the trigger because heart and head, because I'm hearing pulled the trigger. Now, heart and head could also mean somebody who's broken hearted who, you know. So the person who's receiving this message, they'll understand it better than anybody else. OK, OK. Ankita, uh, Ankita, hi, Mo D. Hey, Lolly Ann. Mimi. Hey, you guys, Mimi's back and she is posting timestamps for all of the clearings. So you can just move to those timestamps um, if you want to just uh, scan the show for clearings. And she's doing it on past shows also. Terry's here. Uh, Genevieve. Thank you guys so much for being here. If I missed anybody, I apologize. Thank you for joining. I'm going to go directly to the first caller. <clears throat> 646, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Carla. I'm calling from New York. Thank you for taking my call. Um, my question is this. Um, I have my condo on the market for a little over a month. And um, there's been some interest. Um, and I'm wondering when you see me getting a solid offer. And uh, there was actually a gentleman who came yesterday to see it. And I'm wondering also, like, will, will he make an offer or someone else? Okay. I think if he makes an offer, he's going to lowball you. I don't think it's going to be mm -hmm. an appropriate offer at all. I do feel like March is the month when you accept the offer. So whatever offers come in uh, or whatever, I feel like it's going to be during the month of March that you either get and or accept the offer. Now, this could mean that late February, like the 28th, maybe somebody sends in an offer to you that you like, that you're finally like, finally. Um I do feel like that's coming in. I am going to say oh. a lot of people are not looking mm -hmm. right now. So please um, be patient and don't do the real estate dance of like every so many weeks, lowering it, stand strong on your pricing. I feel like your pricing is extremely fair as it sits right now. You just have to wait for, you know, a lot of people don't even look, especially on the East Coast or um, 
in the Midwest, a lot of people don't look well during this time of the year, either because of um, children in school or because of the yeah. weather or whatever it is, because there's just not enough on the market, whatever. Yeah. I feel like March is going to be when it's going to start to flood and you're going to start to get those offers. And a good offer is going to come through and you're going to take it. Um, I think you, I think in April, now I think the offer comes through maybe uh, too far off. No, I'm not going to wait that long. Actually. I'm, I put a deadline on the end of uh, January and um, we'll figure out when to relist. Just, um, I actually, New York city has a different um, world. It lives in for real estate. There's always people looking just because, you know, it's an international hub. Um, so I'm hopeful, but we'll see. Um, okay. So then I don't, so I don't really, input, Tony. I don't really uh, understand sorry. like what, okay. So then what they're saying, listen, don't call and ask me a question. If you already have your answer, first of all, second, um, if you're going to get an offer, it's going to be in March. That's the answer. Maybe you take it off the market in January. She hung up on me. Good. See ya. Okay. Why ask me? Why Why say, when am I going to get an offer when you already know you're taking your house off the market in two weeks? What is that? Like, are you playing with spirit? Because play spirit doesn't like to play that way. Don't, don't be, don't be that person. Don't be that person right there that asks me a question, gets the answer and then goes, no. Okay. Since you already know, why are you asking? Like, seriously, though, seriously, Spirit's answer to you is March. So if you take your house off in January and you relist it in March, that's when your offer is coming in. You might get lowballed until you take your house off the market and then put it back on. But that's what I get. That's what I get. Don't tell Spirit they're wrong. Go have your own conversation with them. Don't use me as a caveat to fight with Spirit. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Now that I have that off my chest, since you know everything, go handle it yourself. Oh, did you guys see that flash of light from Spirit? I wonder if that's a warning to me to pipe it down. Oh my God. Right? Okay. So everybody in the chat is like, you guys have got to join the YouTube chat. Seriously. I can't, I'm not going to say what they're saying, but yep. 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 Okay. Anne says, yes, her, uh, he died in bed. So in the beginning I answered Anne's question about how somebody passed and yes, that she, uh, gave a, a somewhat of a confirmation there. Um, hi Susan, how are you? Um, I'll get to you in a moment, Susan. I'm going to go to the next caller. 814, 814. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, um, this is Amy, and I'm calling. I am finishing out my current job. Um, I'm starting a new job, but my question isn't about the new job, but it, it's me finishing this up. Is my current boss, she hasn't been here very long. Is she trying to set me up for something? Um. Well, okay. I hear yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Um, which means she, she, it could mean a couple things. It could mean, yes, she is trying to, but no, she won't be successful. Um, I feel like she's a complicated personality to say the least. And, um, like if you, like you said, you have a new job already lined up and you're going to it, you, mm, I'm not sure she might, you might end up leaving your current job a little sooner. I'm not sure what the yes, no means, but I am going to tell you just uh, the, the thing I'm hearing is tread lightly, but be strong. So tread very lightly. And then like whatever it is that you end up doing, um, be strong in it, um, or whatever comes at you, just be strong, but tread lightly. If you know you're already 
moving on. I wouldn't uh, invest too much energy into anything she says or does. I would say, allow yourself to just uh, move forward with grace and dignity. That's the statement, the biggest statement okay. uh, spirit is giving you. And just do exactly what you're supposed to do. And, um, and, and don't worry, because uh, in the end, you're going to be moving forward into a much better space. Okay, love? Okay. Okay, thank you. Because there's been some questionable things that she said to me. Yeah, she has. You know what? I'm going to tell I, you this. I told her when I move to my next job, I don't want to be, because I'm going to be training for this job. Like, you had your time to train with me. Like, I don't have time to, like, keep if it's a quick question, I can answer. But if it's something in depth, um, I can't keep going back. You know what I mean? And trying to train you when my new boss has expectations for me. Yeah, I get she's a very complicated. She has. Okay, she has a complicated personality or she is a complicated person. Either way, I feel like she and Part of somebody having a complicated personality or being a complicated person is they might not have healthy boundaries or maybe she doesn't comprehend things or I don't know what, it doesn't even matter. You though, you have the right to have very strong and healthy boundaries and say, um, you know, can you go to somebody else for that? Because I'm doing this. Or I'd love to help you with that, but unfortunately, okay. I'm doing my job right now. So can you can you you know um, start to cut that a little bit? Tread lightly, go softly. Once you transition, don't just cut, just cut. You you owe nothing, and and say to her, I'm doing my job right now. You, you know that's. Can you go to somebody else like your boss and ask them to train you on your job? Because that it's not your job to train your boss. It's nice of you to do that. Right. But she should have come in known. She should have come in qualified for the position. And if she's not, her higher up should be training her. But in any case, I know it's like the nice thing to do, whatever. Um but do your job first, tread lightly, be very well-spoken. Ask her to put every, you know what? Thank you, Spirit. Ask her to put everything in an email. Sure, can you send that to, to me in an email and I'll get it back to you as soon as possible. And then put all those emails okay. in a file. And then put all those emails in a file. And, and put them in a file that you do not keep necessarily at work. Keep them also in a private other file that is not your work, not on your work email, if that makes sense, like forward it to your whatever okay, personal yeah. email, email and keep that because I think in the end, um, you know, tread lightly, do your job, do what you're supposed to do. But also in the end, um, don't <clears throat> in the end, don't D don't uh, be, be strong. And if you need to say, you know what, I'm doing my job right now. And that's, you know, my, there are these expectations of my job. So if I can, when I'm done with my job, I will. However, um, but yeah, no, just, uh, you know, tread lightly, be strong and gracefully and gratefully move into your new position. And I think you're going to be very, very relieved when you're able to do that. Okay, love? Okay. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you so much. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for uh, calling in. And I hope you have an amazing job transition. Thank you. You're so welcome. Okay, I'm going to go to the chat. Um, 850, you are next. Um, I'm going to go to the chat and see somebody had um, asked a question and I want to make sure I'm getting to that person. Uh, uh, okay, hi, Tony. Any answers to why I seem to be losing my hair and also have... I think the word is sciatica. The print is very small in the chat, folks. It's very small. Um, 
I can say the hair loss is um, somewhat hormonal. That's the first thing I hear. And the first thing I would tell you is to, I can't diagnose if it were me, I would be taking um, the little iodine that you get at the health food store, not the iodine you put external, but the iodine you take internal. I would be doing that. And I would be using that to help uh, balance your hormones. I know it sounds crazy, folks, but trust me. Um, that is what I am getting for you. Um, the reason why there's a couple different reasons why you might be having a hormonal imbalance. Now, a lot of people have been having hair breakage and losing their hair. And I did, um, I think it was two or three years ago and <clears throat> I had to start taking some natural things to help with it. And it has, I mean, holy cow. Um, so I would recommend, that's one of the things I do for my hair is that iodine tincture, uh, the internal iodine that I put in my smoothies, my water, everything. Um, so yes, that is what I would recommend. And I, hormonal is the reason that I am getting, I'm going to go to 850, 850. What's your name? Where are you calling from? <clears throat> I am Michelle, and I'm calling from Florida, and I just wanted to let you know, you told me I would find my camper out west, and I did. Yes. <laughs> I found it a couple months ago. Excellent. So I just thought I'd validate that for you. And I thought I'd never be going out west to get it, but I did. I think I do remember and that when you said, I won't do that. You know, people call in and they like sass back to spirit and then spirit's like, oh yeah, <laughs> let me show you. <laughs> so yes, thank you for that validation. <laughs> thank you so much. That yeah, is awesome. I just, oh, you're welcome. I just had to tell you that. Um, now we're working and fixing it up. And so far, ever since eight, we tried to hook up the 12 volt yesterday and it actually worked. So we're working on some things, fixing the refrigerator and stuff like that. And, and, but I got to fix my boat before we go out west. And his birthday's in March. And I'm desperate. I really want to take him out west to Utah, is where he wants to go. <laughs> um, and I want to take him there for his birthday because he's always wanted to go out west and just visit. And that'll be the best time to go because they're saying come May, gas is going to be really high, which I don't know if that's true or not. So I'm like, am I going to get my boat fixed in time? And am I going to get enough money by March to take him for his birthday out West? I'm working really hard every day. Okay. So I'm going to tell you, steady the course. Yes. All of these things are possible and probable, but it, it, you can't, you can't, um, like I don't want to use the word slack off. You have to stay the stay the course, not steady the course. Stay the course. Just stay on track, and everything's going to work out. Please, please, please remember, you are loved by so many people, and you are loved so much. Don't ever think that you are not. And um, and as much as you love people and might not tell them, those people also love you and might not tell you. So just please always know that you are so, so loved. Thank you so much again. And until next time.